When was the last time you looked like a movie star? Are you paying too much for that fabulous look? Or are you getting stuck with an outdated look? Boost your confidence at celesconnect.com. Latest fashion accessories, electronics, jewelry, and more. Explore high quality merchandise at low prices. New merchandise being added daily. Our sales and discounts guarantee you get a smashing look for less. Visit celesconnect.com today. I hope everyone is having a good evening or morning today, depending on where you're at in the world. Uh, this video is going to focus on installing the Jayhawk build. So the first thing that I'm going to uh, show you is how to back up your current build. Because you may want to revert back to your current build. You may not enjoy the Jayhawk build for a lot of uh, reasons that I may indicate uh, during the, the, the video. However, uh, there, there are some great things about it that you may enjoy for a lot of reasons I'll indicate throughout the video. Regardless of what your build is, if you go to your main menu or settings menu, you should be able to locate programs. I'm making an assumption. The assumption is that you have seen the other videos that I have produced and you know that I'm a fan of the Ares Wizard. The reason why I'm a fan of the Ares Wizard is for two reasons. One, it has the pulse build in that wizard and it's easy to install through the Ares Wizard. And then two, the Ares Wizard is a great tool to use for backing up your build or backing up Cody. So in the Ares Wizard, go to backup and then select the destination. And if you have enough space on your local drive, then you can choose root file system. Otherwise, you'll have to back up to an external drive. Choose the SD card. If you're using a Google Android system or the Android operating system, choose SD card. And then you'll just click OK and save in that destination. Click OK. Click Refresh. And then choose full system backup. And I'm, I'm a fan of backing up everything. Don't try to guess what needs to be backed up. Just back up everything. Once you've done that, click on make backup. Okay, choose no here. Don't worry about trying to save space or, or time. Just back up everything. For the sake of time, I've sped through the, the uh, long process of backing up files using the Ares wizard. And also when I do the, the inst <coughs> installations, I'll also speed through that as well so you don't have to sit through, through that. The backup process with the Ares wizard is actually not that long. I mean, it's probably, it, it probably takes about five to, to seven minutes depending on the speed of your device. Once the backup's done, click OK, and then click OK again, and then you can close out of the Ares Wizard. Click No here. You don't need to win a free prize. Back out of this screen. And once again, uh, you can go to, to menu or system settings. You should be able to find the uh, programs uh, add-on section within there. All right, once you've ex exited out of the Kodi system, you've already backed up your build if you want to keep your build. Then you'll do this process. If you don't want to keep your build, you would do this process. Go into Kodi in the apps section of your settings on your device. Choose clear data. When you clear the data, it's going to wipe out your build. The reason why you do this is because you do not want to um, install a new build and it's not able to find all of the different um, files that are required for it to load up. Because each time you install a build, it does edit and add new files uh, operating files to the Kodi installation. So it's always better to uh, clear the data and start from scratch. Now I'm, I am opening up Kodi. 
so I can start the installation of the Jayhawk build. If I have any problems installing the Jayhawk build, then I know that I'm going to need to clear the data again and uninstall Cody and then reinstall Cody again. What took place there is that I went to uh, settings, entered a file manager, and then uh, now I am adding a source. And the source that I'm adding is HTTP colon forward slash forward slash jhawkmedia.org forward slash Cody. And this particular media location will contain the zip file that's required to install the Jayhawk build. I'm going to uh, change the media source name to something that's uh, more pertinent. I mean, I'm, excuse me, that's more relevant to the build that we're installing. So I'm going to type Jayhawk. Once I do that, I'll click OK. The Jayhawk uh, installation is really simple. I mean, pretty much all you have to do is just install the zip file. And once it unpacks, it, it, it will um, expose you to a wizard that uh, will set, set up the build for you. It's really easy. You'll see here. So click install from zip file. I'm going to select settings. And I'm going to select allow unknown sources. Once you enable that, you'll be directed back to that screen. Click install from zip file, then choose Jayhawk. If you named it Jayhawk, if you called it something else, well then choose that. So there I selected the, the zip file. And it's only one zip file in there. So when you choose Jayhawk, then uh, you'll see that one zip file. It'll say program.jayhawkwizard.zip, something like that. Just select that. And then once you select that, I sped up the, the, the process here. But once you select that, it takes about five minutes for the Jayhawk wizard to come up. So here you saw I was getting a little impatient and so I clicked on um, install from repository just to see if it may have done something and then that's when the wizard popped up and uh, I chose to dismiss this reminder here or that information and that wizard popped up it had the build menu so I selected build menu so I'm just telling you giving you a heads up it's going to take about five minutes for that uh, wizard to display. Once you choose build menu, then choose Hawks master build. For you that want to try something out different, you like to experiment with uh, your, your Cody builds, then you can try that Hawk ultimate build. I do not know what it looks like or what it does. I'm a real basic Cody user, so I'm just choosing the Hawks master build. Here, um, I'll say no. I don't need it to run a fresh start. And the reason being is that I already cleared out the data. So since I cleared out the data, there's no other build that can conflict with the Jayhawk build. So I don't need to do a fresh start. If I was doing this over another build, and I don't suggest that, but if I was, then I would have chose fresh start so it could wipe the old build out. What I do suggest is just backing up your build. 
that way if you want to go back to a previous build you can restore it using the Ares wizard and you'll be back up and running in no time like I said the Jayhawk build it, it's really easy because all you need to do is just unzip the the zip file by selecting install from zip wait uh, five minutes and it'll unpack itself show the uh, Jayhawk wizard you'll be able to choose build select uh, the uh, the build that I indicated in the video and, and you're good to go click OK here and then it will close out Cody you'll get back into Cody and when you start it up the Jayhawk build is loaded and ready to go it's really simple as this Jayhawk build is loading up now I'll tell you what I like about it the thing that I like about it is that hey it's real easy to install um, I do like the fact that they set it up for you for the most part you you, you just you know click on movies or whatever and, and you can watch whatever you want to watch uh, the things that I the thing that I don't like about it is that this video graphic you see here it takes a lot of processing so if you're using some of the old older um, Android boxes then it, it, it may not be powerful enough to run the Jayhawk build uh, if you've purchased um, a, a, a zoom tack um, 912 Android box you should be fine if you purchase uh, uh, any of the Cody boxes that we're selling any of the connect boxes that we're selling you'll definitely be fine I guarantee it it'll run properly The other thing I don't care too much for, I, I, I guess I really like the post build because I understand it. It has all of the different add-ons there. What Jayhawk is trying to do is just make it simpler for, I guess, basic users. They, but the problem is, is all the, the components they've hard-coded into this build, if they don't work anymore, they stop working, then you're, you're stuck trying to figure out how to get to video add-ons. So for a new user, it probably would be pretty irritating. But here I'm, I'm just trying something out. So I had selected a, selected a video section in there just to see how that was arranged. And pretty much this is how Jayhawk is arranged. It already has everything loaded for you. It indexes the various different add-ons. So I'm clicking in here and I chose gun, Guns and Roses. Uh, video November rain I don't think you're able to just click on something for it to play you have to choose your menu option on your your remote control and then you have to go and select what you're wanting the action you're wanting play from here or play the video make a favorite whatever you're trying to do now there's a lot of people they like the Jayhawk build they really enjoy it uh, they do uh, as far as myself, it's okay. I, I, I enjoy the post build. Uh, I like for everything to be laid out. So here I'm just pausing the video. Nothing happened. It did not glitch. I'm just pausing the video uh, and kind of just scrolling through some of the different menu options. But here if you clicked on music add-ons or video add-ons right underneath apps, then you would be able to choose the video add-ons uh, that you want to use like stream hub covenant all of those so you can use the jayhawk build and if you uh explore it you you'll you'll figure out how to get to your add-ons if you don't want to go through trying to find all these different add-ons to use uh what jayhawk has done like i said they tried to create like a program or an, or an application that has all of the the add-ons there for you to use so i hope you enjoyed this video um, once again this is about installing the jayhawk build uh, please continue to uh, support solisconnect.com thank you again